All right, people, I did a Facebook video and it didn't come out good. So I'm going to do a real video, put it on YouTube, and then um, post it. But here's the Barris car. Yes, it's a real Barris car. And I didn't clean it or nothing yet. This is just the way I got it. It was a 60-year-old build. He built it in 62. I personally think it should go to a collector. Because what am I going to do justice to it? Drive it to cruise nights around here? I don't think so. The car held up very well. They did a few upgrades between then and now, which has a, a newer 302 motor in it, whatever it is, C4 training, and they changed the steering wheel for some strange, odd reason. But I'm putting the steering wheel back to the original one. Now, as you can see, let's start right from the beginning so there's no hidden surprises. It's got the, I got the hood open a little bit, but it's got a pancake hood into a V-shape. It's got the canted headlights. All the glass is good except for the door glass has got a little crack in it. I'm going to replace that to fix that. Now, the paint on it, it's the white pearl that he used to use. And it's it looks black, but it's actually a purple. And the original color, when Barris first painted it, he did it gold. And there's a spot underneath the car where the paint chipped off and you can see the gold is underneath. So, that's another thing. The side pipes, the lake pipes, whatever they're called. You can see, he's got the V, like he used to do. They used to take the exhaust tube and mold it all in, weld it all in. It's got a few little things like that spot right there. Little things, stupid little problems, but I'm not going to destroy the car by touching it up. Because if you touch it up, you're going to take the value away. Because then it's not Barrister's paint anymore. Now, it's got the scoops. Don't ask me how he did that. The 57 fins in the back, but he did them. The bumpers are amazing. The chrome 58 inserts from a T bird with 59 caddy bullets. And back then, they used to really nab you on the blue dots. So he only put two in there. The reason being, most of the taillights were red. And if you sat at a certain angle, you would see a little purple, and the cops didn't pull you over as much. Now, the scoops right there. Um, as far as the Barris crest, one is missing. But here is one right here. You can see. And it's the correct year because Barris did them in different years. He had different styles. So that proves it. I got the little Barris crest on the inside, which I'll show you in a minute. The tube grill. It's not a J.C. Whitney. It's not any one of those Cal Custom ones. It's Barris's handmade grill. If you can see the front bump and the bumper rest, it's fine. Um, this right here, the scoop. Another Barris trick he did. Now, you can see right here that little crack. But I am going to change that. I am going to fix that. It's got door poppers in it. Now the inside, someone took out the speakers. Don't know why, but they took them out. I'm gonna have to put them back in. Someone put a, a newer radio in it. But here's the interior. You can see it's all done. It's all done. The the console piece going up to make it look like a four seater. Um, they did change the training, so it's got a different shifter in it. I'm gonna see if I can change the shifter. There's something more Barra style. Now, here's the other crest. Right there. Those are rare. Barra's only use them on certain ones. They're, they're tiny. Um, there was a lot of chrome on this car he had. So, I mean, it's a shame I would like to keep it. That's why I bought it. But... I really think it should be in someone else's hands as a collector because it's a piece of history. When you think about it, Barris is gone. He's not with us no more. So, but his work is still here. Here's the sucking antennas. There was a problem with them, so they took them out. The guy said he's trying to find them so he can give me them. 
so I can put them back in. You can see the back of the car, the trunk's pancake. I mean, it, it, you just go, you go around the car, and you're gonna find more and more things that Barris did. So, I figure, for what I'm asking, is not unreasonable. Because let's face it, you had that bathtub car that Barris had, which we all know was a cast iron bathtub on a tea block of frame with a toilet for a seat that you sit. It had a Hemi motor that never ran with a blower with no propellers in it. And that sold a few years ago on eBay for $40,000. And it was torn apart, ripped apart, all the interior, gold interior pieces. He loved gold. And all the interior pieces he put on there was all stuff that was coming out of it. So that goes to show you, if that could sell for 40 grand, I'm asking pennies on the dollar for this this car. I mean, I would love, I mean, look at it beside my gasser. It's like a whole different world. I'm more into gases. I'll be honest with you. But I couldn't pass this up. This was a deal I could not pass up. Someone took the time, Barris took the time to really go all out on this. I mean, it's a shame because it starts, runs, and drives. They did the brakes over. The brakes are all set. I can't open the hood with one hand because the hood weighs a ton because it's all the welding he did in there and stuff. Um, I don't know. I, I wish I could keep it, but... I want to. The, I want to see the car somewhere where it's going to be more appreciated. As far as a collector, I mean, it should be at hot rod shows in California where it came from. That's where it should be. I'm trying to find. Oh, I remember where the spot was. Let me see if I can get that spot. Because the story about the gold I told you he did it. I think it was back here. Let me get on the ground. Yeah, right here. You see that gold? That was Barris's own special paint code that he created as a gold flake. It wasn't no, no candy apple metal flake. It was his colors that he created. I mean, you could see the car still has a shine on it. It's not all rotted. The underneath's nice. I mean, I drove it up here and parked it. The door glass, like I said, I don't like that one little crack, so I am changing it. I mean, there's some things I have to change to give it that more justice. So, this is the car, and it is built from Barris in 62, I believe it was. Um, and oh, by the way, the white pearl that's on there is the same color we used on that truck he made. You remember the white and pur purple one? That's what the guy came up with to do this one. He wanted those those colors, but I guess George wanted to put that color purple, so he made a darker purple. I mean, in the sunlight, you can really see the purple, and you see how the car sits right down on the ground. I mean, I had a ball driving it. I mean, I drove it around, and look at it compared to my 55. It looks like a go-kart. I don't know. I'm going to clean it up. The car's filthy right now. I'm going to clean it up, clean everything, and then I'm going to take some nice pictures, and I'm going to put it out there. And if somebody wants it, give me a call. Um, it's... It's just a shame because it's a nice car. It really, it really needs to be at these big time shows where they have like Winfield cars, Barris cars, Heinz cars, Starbirds cars. If I missed any, sorry. But it should be at one of those type of shows, not somewhere up in New Hampshire. You know what I'm saying. So that's it.